Hello, my name is John. I run an RC video channel on YouTube. And the reason I'm making this video is because I just got myself a Rode Wireless Go 2 set. And one of the main reasons I bought it was for a feature called the safety channel. And the reason that's important for me is because I constantly spend a lot of time outdoors and indoors doing both reviews and outdoor activities. And what happens is if you don't get your level set exactly right, it's super easy to get into a situation where you clip. And that's what the safety channel corrects. It gives you two audio tracks on the Rode Wireless Go that are recorded to your device. One is 20 decibels lower than the other so that if you do find yourself in a situation where you clip, you can use your safety channel, which will be 20 decibels lower, and fold that into your edits so that you can eliminate clipping and save your audio. Super important for a single content creator like myself. I don't have anybody to monitor levels, so having this capability, really important. I'll walk you through how to set up the Wireless Go 2 safety channel on the receiver, and then how to verify that you're actually getting the two stereo tracks that you need, and then I'll show you how to import that information into DaVinci and split your tracks so you can cross mix and adjust your volumes the way you need to. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is download the Rode Central app. You can find it on Rode's website. And once you install it and connect your receiver to your computer via the USB-C cable, you'll notice there's a row of buttons along the top. And the one we're paying attention to is this one that says mode. So right now I have it in split mode and you can see on the receiver, I've got two channels of audio coming from one of the transmitters. Here's number one and here's number two. So th these two are both taking up the left and right audio tracks on the receiver. So what we wanna do is switch out of that split mode into merged mode and you can see it now says merged on the app. And the next thing you wanna do is make sure your safety channel is on. If it's grayed out like this, it doesn't work. You have to turn that on. And that's all you need to do in the app. The next thing we need to do is get our recording device set to work in stereo mode. I can tell you that the GoPro Hero 10 Black worked out of the box, but on my Tascam DR05X, I had been recording in mono mode. So we just need to make that change so it records in stereo. For the DR05X, we'll hit the menu key and then record settings and just come down to type where it says mono, just change it over to stereo, and that's all you need to do. With our receiver set to stereo mode, the next thing to do is connect our Rode Wireless Go receiver, and then one last check on the, this device, make sure you're still in merge mode. You should just see the one bar there on the top, and that's it. So that now we can test. We can take a look, and I'll show you what it, look, what it should look like. You can hit record on the DR05X, and you should see two audio inputs. Notice the left channel has got a higher gain than the right channel. The right channel has a much lower gain. It's hovering near negative 30. And that's what Rode says it's supposed to do. It's supposed to record at a level about 20 dB lower than the main track. So that looks good. That means the safety channel is functioning. Now if I hit the record button, the record button is on. We'll do a test one, two, three, test one, two, three. How does this sound? All right, with our test record done, let's take the audio and bring it into DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you how to split the two tracks. All right, I've got my audio file imported into DaVinci Resolve. The next thing I'll do is right-click on it and go down to Clip Attributes. And this looks okay, but it's not right. You don't want a stereo, you want a mono. So we're gonna click this one and set it to mono, and then we'll add a, a mono track. We'll click Add, and we'll set the embed channel on this one to embed channel number two. And so notice that the, now the format is mono mono and audio one, audio two, embed channel one, embed channel two. So once those attributes are set, you should be able to drag this into your timeline and then make sure you unlink these clips so that you can mix them independently. The last thing to do is go into Farlight and now you can see that we've got two different audio tracks. Uh, one has got a much higher gain. You can see the waveform is a lot higher on the left track and on the right track, it's much lower. So as we if we click play, You'll see, you'll see a pretty significant imbalance, but you can adjust the volume levels now independently. So this is the safety track. This is the one that we were worried about. And now we have the ability to adjust the uh, amplitude of the safety track as necessary. So if you have a section in here where, you've, where you were clipping, you can come down and maybe you know, cut that piece out in your editor. Just get rid of that and, and say, well, just, we'll clip, clip that and then clip again and we'll delete that piece in the middle or just turn it down to nothing. And then we can use our safety track to recover that blank spot. And one, two, three, how does this sound? There we go. And, and that helps us avoid the clipping. There you go. Now you know how to use the safety track on the Rode Wireless Go 2 and how to separate your channels in DaVinci Resolve, do some cross mixing so you don't have to worry about blowing out or distorting on your audio tracks ever again. 
I realize this information was off the beaten path for my regular subscriber base, so I apologize for that. But if you're a creator and you were wondering how to utilize the safety track in the Rode Wireless Go, I hope you found this information useful. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy.